In this tutorial, we're going to look at the slide properties and see what we can do there. So what I want to do is go to Articulate and then click on Slide Properties. And this is going to open up a dialog box here and I can see all my slides. So I've just got a bunch of like practice slides on here. And then it'll give me the properties unique to the slide. And then instead of clicking a bunch of places, I actually just have one area here and I can choose uh, what do I want to do on that particular slide. So some of the things that you can do is you can advance automatically or you can change it to advance by user. Uh, you can control the navigation. So if I want it free or locked and you'll notice if I put locked uh, that it's locked here. I can choose a presenter. If I have a presenter I want to have in the in the player. I can choose audio playlist if I have that. The other thing that's really neat in Studio 13 is I can choose whether or not that particular slide has a previous next button. That really comes in handy. Let's say uh, these were buttons and so in, instead of having you click the next button, the only way I want you to be able to navigate in and out of this slide is using hyperlinks. I can turn off the previous next buttons here and then the only way you'd be able to move once you're in that slide is by clicking on a hyperlink I have on the slide. So I can control the branching or how the user interacts with the screen. Uh, the other thing you can do if we talk about branching is I can determine where I want the previous and next buttons to go. So let's say I want the next button to go to slide 20 instead of the next slide which is 2. I can do that. So a lot of things you can do there and then you have some features that are uh, unique to the player. We'll look at the player in a different tutorial. So that's basically it when you're looking at the slide property. So you've got your slide. Uh, you've, you can determine uh, what properties you want on that. Do you want it to advance automatically or by user? Uh, do you want a presenter on that particular slide? Um, and then what, how you want to control the navigation with that. And then uh, you can edit the menu as well and that's how you would hide or change the um, structure of the slides. And we'll look at that in the next tutorial.